Hi, evening, everyone, brothers and sisters. Uh, we say in Chawe family, friends. Okay, uh, tonight my topic here is uh, fatty liver. So let me simple having simple introduction. Yeah, my name is Tony Wong. I'm company uh, senior trainer. Okay, so tonight this topic fatty liver are uh, related to all of us. Yeah all of us, why? Basically, uh, probably three to five of us, uh, among all of us, we have fatty liver. Yeah? Uh, so it's, so it's a very common, uh, what I would say, sickness, uh, related uh, sickness. So let me start with this word called disclaimer. All material on these slides are provided for your information only. They may not be controlled as medical advice or instruction. No action or inaction should be taken based solely on the contents of this information. Instead, users should consult appropriate health professionals on any matters relating to their health and well-being. Well, uh, now all kind of sickness, uh, very complicated sickness. So my advice, my personal advice is, if you or any one of us or relatives or friends having any complicated sickness, um, my suggestion is not just only going to see one doctor only. Yeah, Going for second or third opinion will be best to really confirm the sickness. Then it can be really do in the well manners. So tonight, my topic here is called fatty liver. Fatty liver. So you can see our liver. First, how many kg of uh, uh, with this, uh, what we say called human liver, yeah, adult human liver. In fact, uh, according to the research, it's one to 1.2 kg. One kg to 1.2 kg yeah so during night time yeah the tick tock the clock 11 p.m it will start working okay so it will ingest a lot of blood right into this uh, liver so it will expand 2 to 2.5 times expansion eh? so when you sleep you must sleep in the right position we say so some people just sleep you know the face down uh, face down and most of us sleep probably sometimes say on the left turn to the left or sometimes turn to the right people say turn to the left probably you feel that your heart is like, like uh, you're pressing towards your heart you feel uncomfort when you are going to the right your liver is on your right so which way you sleep is the best? Well, best is face up, yeah? Best is face up. Then you can have the space for your liver to do the work because liver doing expansion two to 2.5 times. So you can see this uh, picture here, fatty liver. Uh, we say using this uh, microscope, I don't, know, I don't know how many times you know, of power of it. So you can see these uh, fats inside our liver, uh, fats inside our liver. So healthy liver is so clean and beautiful. And fatty liver, well, you can see a lot of fats there, okay, fats there. So is fatty liver a small problem? Ask yourself. It's so common now. Is it a small problem? Well, some people say yes, some people say no. Well, healthy liver become fatty liver, then you will go into more serious case, probably cirrhosis or say liver cancer. Then it is, uh, will take our life, no? So what is fatty liver? What is fatty liver? Fatty liver, also known as hepatic stasis, is a condition when too many fats 
cell accumulate in the liver? What are the fats accumulate in the liver? I, I write down here. First is triglycerides, phospholipids, glycolipids, cholesterol. Okay, during a blood test, I believe you know what is that. Okay, so probably people say, oh, my LDL is too high. My triglycerides is too high, you know? So what should I do? What should I do? Uh, so this condition can occur when your body is producing too much fat or not being able to metabolize them properly. So according to the research, uh, it's okay. It's okay yeah, if the fats contains with this triglycerides, fossil, uh, phospholipids, glycolipids, and cholesterol is around 3%. Yeah? Anything more than 5% is considered as fatty liver. Okay? Fatty liver. Anything more than 5% of fats inside your liver is considered as fatty liver. So types of fatty liver, this is what we need to learn about. When an alcoholic person gets fatty liver, it is known as alcoholic fatty liver disease. So it's AFLD, alcoholic fatty liver disease, eh? AFLD, so short form. So one who doesn't drink, and developed fatty liver is known as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So put that N in front, so it's none. It doesn't mean that when you drink, when you drink, drink alcohol beer or any liquor drink, then you will get this fatty liver. Even though those who don't drink, they may got this called NAF. LD, yeah, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, why is that, right? So it's a term for a range of condition caused by build of fat in the liver. It's usually seen in people who are overweight or obese. Okay, so you can see some fat people around us Especially, uh, we say Southeast Asia, more Southeast Asia, Malaysia, on this adulthood or even children, we are number one. Yeah? Malaysia is number one in obes, okay? The country in obes. So a healthy liver should contain little or no fat. It cannot be no fat. Yeah? Just now we talk about triglycerides, uh, phospholipids, cholesterol, yeah? So we talk about it already, yeah. So definitely, there will be some facts. So it's estimate up to one in every three to five percent has early stage of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, a disease where there are small amount of fat in their liver. So early stage on NAFLD does not usually cause by cause any harm cause any harm, but it can lead to serious liver damage, including cirrhosis, if it gets worse, okay? So having high levels of fat in the liver is also associated with an increased risk of serious health problems, such as diabetes, high blood pressure, and kidney disease. So this we call, Fatty liver will you know, increase risk of serious others, other serious health problems. So it's related. Eh? So diabetes, high blood pressure, and kidney disease. So it doesn't mean that fatty acid only cause the liver damage. Yeah, it may relate to other disease. Okay, it may bind to other disease or link. Yeah, so if you already have diabetes, so NAFLD increases your chance of developing, uh, developing heart problem. Now it's talk about heart problem. So this means that any person who have that who is a, a diabetes, so 
they develop into heart problems. So diabetes patient doesn't mean that they are AFLD. Yeah? It's not uh, alcoholic dinner. It already he or she already a diabetes. That's why uh, he got this fatty label. Yeah. So he detected and managed at an early stage. Uh, it's possible to stop NAFLD getting worse and reduce the amount of fat in your liver. So the research then saying that anyone who have this fatty liver, get it done as soon as possible before it get worse. Get worse means it go into like cirrhosis stage or liver cancer stage, then no reverse anymore. Means our liver can't recover anymore. I remember I, I talk about my friend in Joe Barrow who had this liver problem, liver damage. You know? uh, he, he, the, the surgeon uh, cut off 700 over grain of his liver. Yeah, but after that, now the liver fully grown back. Okay, so amazing. Eh? So if detect early stage, still can manage to really, really reverse and uh, make your liver go into healthy stage. Yeah. So actually, in, in fact, last time previously, doctors say uh, he 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 probably lived around maximum around six months, but he already. Uh, I think extra around 10 years already now. Yeah, extra around 10 years already. So amazing, yeah? So the main stages of NAFLD. Uh, in fact, there's called GNM1, stage one, two, three, four. Yeah, so simple fatty liver steatosis are largely harmless build out of fats in the liver cells that may only be diagnosed during tests carried out for another reason. It may be due to certain kind of sickness, then you go for a blood test, then hey, find out that, oh, got fatty liver. Yeah. So non-alcoholic uh, steatose hepatitis, okay, NASH, that's called NASH, okay. This is same as NAFLD. So a more serious form of NAFLD where the liver has become inflamed. So this means that NASH is already, the liver already having inflammation. The inflammation takes place. Yeah. So we call it as NASH. Yeah. So another one is fibrosis. Where persistent inflammation causes scar tissue around the liver and nearby blood cells, blood vessels. Okay. But the liver is still able to function normally. Why? Yeah. In fact, liver, they don't have this called uh, nerve uh, for, they, they call it as a tongue uh, cancer. I forgot to search for these English words. Uh, someone may help me. Eh? Uh, liver doesn't have this call uh, the, to detect on this pain until on the last stage, uh, then only few pain. Uh, so that's why anybody who have liver problems, yeah, it's just a sign of, uh, in, in fact, it's actually no sign at all until very serious stage, then only have some sign coming out. Yeah. So the fourth one is cirrhosis, the most severe stage occurring after years of inflammation where the liver shrinks and becomes scared and lumpy. This damage is permanent and can lead to liver failure where your liver stops working properly and liver cancer. Okay, so these are the four stages of NAFLD. Okay, so let us talk about increased risk of NAFLD if you, okay, if you, if me, okay, obese or overweight. If we are overweight, particularly if you have a lot of fat around your waist and apple-like body shape. So, uh, any waist on, uh, we call 80 centimeter for the ladies and 85 centimeter for men, uh, that's called obese. We call obese. So, have type 2 of diabetes, 
And then third one, have high blood pressure. Fourth, have high cholesterol. Have metabolic syndrome, a combination of diabetes and high blood pressure and obesity. Six, over the age of 50. Oh my goodness, I'm more than 50. <laughs> so smoking, smoking. Uh, it's not alcohol eh? because it's, we still talk about AA, FLD. Eh? So you can see these seven uh, lists here, eh, listed here is increase the risk of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So if obese, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, metabolic syndrome, over age 50 and smoking. What are the causes of fatty liver? Some of the most common causes of fatty liver are obesity. This is very common. Yeah, when you are, or you at nine, uh, aging, eh? aging stage. So we may have this called build up, especially on waist. When an individual reaches up to actual weight of their body according to height and other aspect, the condition is called Obesity. This can also occur due to other reasons like inactivity. This means lack of exercise. Consuming too much of carbohydrates food. Uh, this is what we like. Uh, normally Asian, eh? Southeast Asian country, normally we like. So obesity waist measurement for male is 80 centimeter. Female is 85 centimeter. It's called obesity. So insulin resistant. So this is very, uh, the words that come to us, insulin resistance is uh, when we do our 18672 uh, light detox program, eh? uh, light fasting program. Eh? So we, the words come to us is insulin resistance. Uh, uh, improper response to the insulin of the body causes the increased level of glucose, such as a condition is known as insulin resistant. So insulin resistant can be caused due to different reasons like diabetes, uh, PCOS. Why is that? It's uh, female, uh, normally talk about ovarian one. PCOD, same, but it's more serious case on um, talk about ovarian. So, and uh, obesity. So these are the causes of fatty liver and hybrid sugar. It is the high level of insulin in the blood which differs from type 1 and type 2 diabetes. High blood sugar doesn't mean that already really a diabetes patient, not yet. Uh, probably found out that the blood test, then the sugar level is high, but it's not a diabetes patient yet. So high level of fat, those who consume high fat concentrated food, okay, all have inherit high levels of fat can result in it. So these are the causes of fatty liver. Okay, some of the less causes of fatty liver can be, uh, very less common one can be due to pregnancy or certain genes raise the cause of fatty liver and exposure to some toxin and then properly rapid weight loss, some types of infection. Uh, bacterial infection or virus infection properly. So what are the symptoms of fatty liver? Now we talk about symptoms. There are no particular signs of fatty liver through which one can detect fatty liver, but many people experience fatigue and extra pain in their lower other one. When there is a pain, normally it's quite serious already, yeah. Okay, so what is the diagnosis for fatty liver? You see, I I, I Google search this and then and this is talk about scan, CT scan. Okay, generally doctors follow the below mentioned step to identify if someone has fatty liver or not. Doctors will ask you about your medical history. This is very common. Eh? So they can also examine patient physically to know if they are swell, you know, the liver swell up means abdomen swell up, especially on the right side. The blood test can also reveal about individual condition. Later we talk about yeah, liver test. 
on blood test. I will study through it with you. Yeah, this is a special part that we need to know from your blood test report. If you have it, you get ready your blood test report. <laughs> okay, so imagine study like CT scan, ultrasound exam, and ML eye scans. So these are the scan. You can see uh, whether your liver having these fats or not. I'm sorry, yeah, I'm not a medical profession, but I roughly know about it uh, because I watch a lot of uh, this uh, medical or uh, videos every now and then. I've been watching this all this while. Uh, for long years, I watching this uh, medical video yeah, to, to get to know. I want to be a doctor, but I can't be. Okay. <laughs> yeah. My, my youngest uncle is a medical doctor. Uh, he's a scientist. Yeah, he's a scientist. So another one is liver biopsy. According to a, a medical profession, liver biopsy is the most accurate uh, to talk about whether it is having, uh, what we say, uh, fatty liver or maybe other, uh, like uh, whether the liver is inflamed or cirrhosis stage. Yeah. So, okay, we learn together. Yeah. So what does it mean if ultrasound show fatty liver? And now we talk about ultrasound. There are many causes of fatty liver consequences. It may be due to metabolic diseases, heavy thinking habits, nutritional disorder or drug use. Okay, let us uh, talk about nutritional disorder. What does it mean? Means imbalanced diet. You see, sometimes we don't know. Yeah, so because uh, I've been asked a lot of questions about this sickness, that sickness. Uh, today, I'm quite busy, but luckily not so many questions, but there are a few, but I can manage it well. Well, you see, sometimes imbalance of nutrition also having problems. Yeah, of course, drinking is worse for the liver. If every day drink, uh, from what I know, if you if you drink uh, a kind a day, uh, probably uh, down the road, 10 to 20 years, uh, the, the liver were already in frame, yeah, already in frame. So in fact, to determine whether, okay, it's really fat or not, it is necessary to pass blood test to check whether liver enzyme are high based on indicators, okay, of SGOT, SGPT and GGT. So I believe you know about ALT, AST, same thing talk about SGOT and SGBT and then GGT. So from your liver test, if you have your liver test report, take out your liver test report, then you know. The most accurate way is by biopsy, like what I said just now, of liver for microscopy to calculate the percentage of cell containing fat particles, you see? So biopsy is the most accurate. Depending on the severity, the doctor may give you additional tests such as CT, scan or MRI or hepatitis B to C test. Yeah. So this is the blood test report from my blood test report. Okay. From my blood test report. Yeah. Just to show you, this is my blood test report. Okay. <laughs> to show you. Eh? So, well, you Uh, albumin or globulin high, it may be a sign of your liver or kidney or maybe some infection. Okay? This is the study. Uh, even the AG ratio high also same thing. Yeah? And if talk about the uh, total bilirubin, maybe liver disease, maybe due to medication or maybe disorder of the red blood cells. Uh, if disorder of the red blood cells, you need to study about the uh, ESR, we need to study about RBC or hemoglobin. Uh, that's why all the blood test report are related, no? related. So we had to go to into one by one. Yeah, because I see many blood test reports. So I'm not expert, but I know. Yeah. So, and then we talk about the uh, alkaline phosphatases. Uh, I hope my pronunciation is correct. Okay. It's very difficult to pronounce. Alkaline, alkaline phosphatase. 
It's uh, due to liver or gallbladder. Uh, probably there's a blockage, there's a stone, yeah, gall, gallstone or cirrhosis or even liver cancer or hepatitis. So then if this is quite high, doctor may ask you to go for another test, more um, test. So, and then we go into AST, ALT, SGOT, SGPT, GGT. This is normally what I see on patients who have uh, quite serious sickness. If their SGOT, SGPT, and GGT are in a good manner, eh, good normal condition, then uh, the chances for him or her to recover from his or her sickness is very much higher, the chances. If the level SGOT, SVT, GGT, the level is not normal, is too high already, then, like for example, SGOT exists uh, 40 here, uh, different uh, lab tests, uh, have maybe having different calculation, different kind of calculation. Like just now I mentioned here, it's talk about biopsy, it's talk about percentage, you see? So it's a very different, this is talk about different kind of levels, test. So ALT is uh, if more than 53, like GGT less than 73, but uh, it's already more, too much sometimes. Uh, then we have to see what is happening. And then we can go into another one is called, um, Neutrophil, lymphocyte, monocyte, uh, eosinophil, and basophil. Uh, if, if you know about it, then you know about what is happening to the immune system already. Yeah. So when people having SGOT, SGBT, GDT too high, we know that yeah, it's uh, properly having the, the we say, uh, um, fatty liver, uh, fatty liver. And, and sometimes when I study, when I see their hemoglobin, RBC, or especially this called EXR, uh, ESR, is too much higher, meaning that the blood stickiness is there already. So I know roughly from the re blood test report, we know that what is happening to this person. Okay, so I hope uh, you, you learn something from here. <laughs> Yeah, I, I tell you the truth. Uh, not easy, not easy. Yeah, to to learn blood test report. So and you had, sometimes you had to go to uh, even uh, talk about reading. It's for example, uh, 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 alkaline phosphate test is too high already. Then probably there's a test called CA nineteen point nine. I think you know. Uh, this is talk about pancreatic cancer test, and then uh, CA or certain type of different kind of cancer test. CA. And then another one is called PSA. PSA is for male. Uh, normally it's talk about prostate, whether having inflammation or cancer. Okay. And another one is called CA125. CA125 is for ladies normally talk about ovarian. Yeah. Probably, well, is it having cancers or what? Yeah. This is the different test. So you know that from your blood test report. Yeah. You can see that everything is written here uh, very accurately, but yeah, correctly. Yeah, correctly. I hope you see here. So, okay, another one we say ultrasound. Ultrasound result fatty liver. So, fatty liver is a condition in which liver cells accumulate 5 to 10% more fats of the liver. So, just now in the beginning, uh, the first page, uh, the second page, I already talked about uh, how much, uh, what we say, uh, fat lipids or fats in your liver. So it's around 3% there. So anything more than 5% is fatty liver. So the 3% is talk about triglycerides, phospholipids, uh, glycolipids, and uh, cholesterol. Yeah, cholesterol. So that's why we test from SG. OTS, GPT, GDT, we know what is happening there uh, in your liver. Yeah. So to determine whether the liver is fatty or not, it must be calculated based on measurement of the liver. Sometimes the liver will really, I don't know, 
normal size, but it already like swell up, swollen, swollen. We say swollen. So the doctors know how yeah, from the scan, they know and see the check on it. Yeah. So they check on it whether the size is uh, already too much. Because I have been seeing too many reports. Like uh, last month, I saw one report. Wow, amazing. But she is lucky. Uh, luckily, didn't go into serious stage. So luckily, she met uh, uh, in Chawe leader. And then uh, the leader provide her the, our products. And uh, within the three months time, everything go back nearly to normal. Uh, three months only, amazing, yeah, amazing. But really need to control the food really, really well, yeah. So what are the early signs of liver damage from alcohol? Now we talk about uh, alcoholic, yeah, alcoholic fatty liver disease. Generally, symptoms of alcoholic liver disease include abdominal pain and tenderness, dry mouth, increased thirst, fatigue, jaundice which is yellow of the skin, loss of appetite and nausea. Not only yellow of the skin, eh? sometimes you can see our, uh, our, from our eye, the whitish color, it turns to yellow. It's, we know that it's, a, it's a, a kind of liver disease already. So including abdominal pain is really a sign. Sometimes you don't know what is happening. You always, after your meal, you, you, you feel uncomfort. You feel you want to vomit. Uh, you feel that you are not in the mood of eating. Yeah. And always feel very tired. Then you better go for a good, good blood test or consult doctors. Yeah. So your skin may look anomaly, dark or light. Your feet or hands may look red. Okay, your feet and all hands may look red. That's why when when I see some people pump, you know, pump, pump, it's really pinkish color, pinkish color. You see, uh, that I remember, uh, if I'm not mistaken, should be uh, before MCO. That was uh, nearly two two and a half years back. Uh, during NDO time, I I saw one of the men. I said, wow. Oh, your palm is so, it's, it's not just red, you know, it's, it's like pinkish red. So I know that his liver is in trouble. So that's why I give him some advice. So swelling of your liver, which may lead to discomfort in the upper right side of your abdomen. So our liver is on the right side. So we know that we must really, really, uh, what happened when, feeling something like you touch on it, you feel like swollen or you feel, because the liver doesn't, uh, during the early stage, it doesn't have any pain at all because they don't have, we call tongue uh, something. I forgot to search for this uh, English words just now. Uh, fatigue, if you're tired or unexplained weight loss or loss of appetite, this is, these are the, the, the signs of uh, liver damage. Uh, from alcohol, yeah. So we get to know about it, yeah. So sometimes when when you promote your products, or some people say, "I got this problem, that problem." Probably you learn something from tonight' topic, yeah. Then uh, you can uh, really be uh, give a good uh, advice to him or her, yeah. So if, even nausea and vomiting, that's how I already mentioned about it, yeah? So, okay, what are the treatment for fatty liver? What are the treatment? Yeah, to your knowledge, what are the treatment? Uh, according to health website, Healthline, there are no such medication that have been approved to treat fatty liver. But here are some of the treatment which are prescribed by doctors. <laughs> doctors say limit or avoid the usage of alcohol. So there are no medication. So how? So ask you to limit or avoid the usage of alcohol. Changing eating habits. Uh, so eating habit means no fried, oily, grilled food, no oily food, no, no good food. I say no good food. <laughs> okay. So any daily living habits, 
uh, always sleep early, yeah, and then reduce your stress tension. Uh, these are the important things and do regular exercise and drink enough warm water. Yeah, I say warm water, not cold ice water, cold, uh, cold water. And, and then uh, if or best weight loss, that's the best to, to reduce. So our 18672 light fasting program is very, very successful. Yeah. So probably during Chinese New Year, we have another session on it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, stages of liver uh, disease. So healthy liver, fatty liver, fibrosis, and cirrhosis. Just now we already talked about this uh, different kind of uh, stages of liver problem, liver, liver disease. So, okay, liver gallbladder detox. Now we talk about liver gallbladder detox. Uh, previously, previously before this uh, 18672 light fasting program came up from this uh, 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 in Chao Wei company. So uh, I, I do liver detox, liver gallbladder detox. Eh? Every six months, I do that. I do that, yeah. So in fact, gallbladder detox is super good, but more intense, is uh, more intense, more than this one and six, seven, two light fasting program. So probably after the MCO, we, we, we uh, probably say have the company, Suggest to company we will do one more time uh, after the MCO uh, to do this liver gallbladder detox. So the gallbladder detox uh, is responsible for storing the bowel. Uh, the gallbladder is responsible for storing the bowel that the liver makes. So liver makes the liver, we say acid, that's stored in the gallbladder. Okay, so the freak can help you digest fat more effectively. While the gallbladder helps with digestion, you don't need a gallbladder to live. So you don't need a gallbladder to live. Anyone that you come across that you know already removed their gallbladder, I believe a lot of them are having this, we say gallbladder stone, if when the stone is too big and then causing them big trouble, always pain here and there, doctor say, hey, remove your gallbladder. So anyway, without gallbladder, you still can live. Yeah. So gallstone are hardened deposit that can develop in the gallbladder and cause pain, nausea and vomiting. If they block one of the gallbladder, that's, uh, that one is in big trouble. So in fact, according to the research, there are doubts, there are doubts, there are doubts. Eh? We have 500 to 800 crystals in our body. So the thing is here, how to get rid of it. Yeah, best is still doing this, we call liver gallbladder detox. So this, the picture here, you can see the clean, healthy gallbladder. And then it's having some stone. The scary part is this blockage of bowel duct by gallstone. This one need to go operation. If you get to know early, properly through liver gallbladder detox, you can remove it. Yeah, there are a lot of uh, what we say, the nutrition study or dietitian. Uh, different kind of a uh, normal, uh, what we say, uh, remedies to use to help to go for this uh, gallbladder, uh, liver gallbladder detox. So our in way we had done it uh, 20 over times, in fact, very successfully done. Okay, so liver gallbladder detox, if anyone diagnosed with gallstone, there's a potential way to remove them naturally without surgery. This is what the research done. So depending on the size and severity of your gallstone, the gallbladder flush and liver cleanse can help your body pass the gallstone safely and effectively. You see, the crystal, the stone, yeah, how to really make it soften and really discharge it off from our body. That's important. Yeah? 
So you see the stone, yeah, zero to two cm here. The the gallbladder organ is so small, okay, but the stone is so big. What do you think? Will cause you pain or not? Definitely, correct not. So when the stone is uh, accumulated inside your uh, uh, gallbladder, definitely will cause pain. So if too big, too much of uh, too many of uh, stones inside the gallbladder, so uh, when you see the medical doctor, yeah, profession, they say you got to remove it. Yeah, if not, it will cost you life. Maybe, yeah, it may be, yeah. So okay, so these are the stone. So it can remove. So I remember I do few times always having some discharge of some crystal stones from my body. Yeah. So the research then is like that if it is the stone came up from your body, if it is a reddish color, reddish color, okay, is from your heart. It's from your heart. Okay. And if white one is from your lungs, if uh, what we say gray and black is from your kidney. Okay. And then uh, if yellow green is normally from your gallbladder or maybe from your stomach. Okay. So different kind of colors from your different kind of organs. Yeah. So these are the 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 picture that you can see from here, the stone inside the gallstone. Is, this is too much. Huh? So there's a stone here inside the duct here. Huh? Common bar duct. Uh, it will fall through and then stuck there. That definitely will cause serious pain. So need to go for surgery. So doctor say, hey, remove it. That's it. So after remove it, normally doctor will tell you not to eat any oily food. Is it correct? Definitely is correct. But our body need omega-3 and 6. How? How? The next question is how? So we need it. But if you remove, you already remove the gut bladder, normally such person Definitely, they have this, which we say, digestive tract problem. Digestive tract problem. Normally, they will get easy, eh? easy to get this, we call diarrhea. Definitely. Yeah. So that's why any food that they take, no oil, cannot. We need omega 3 6. So I suggest you to take um, Sacha NG oil. Sacha NG oil, which have high omega-3, and then together with in chaga, together, yeah, together. So this is a solution that to help you to really solve some of this, we say fatty liver. So we use a good oil, take good oil in, bad oil out. That is the better way. Uh, to discharge of this, we say bad cholesterol, triglycerides, or any kind of bad oil inside your body, or we say maybe trans fat. Trans fat is not easy to to get it up, but it takes time. It well, if you take enough such an oil, some people say I take one is enough. I say. When you eat one piece of chicken wing, chicken drumstick, or chicken breast, yeah, fried one, one piece of it contains 15 ml of bad oil. So one packet of such an inch oil and one piece of fried chicken, 15 ml of bad oil. So is it enough to help to discharge all the bad oil from your body? Definitely is not enough. Okay. And most of people having high cholesterol, high back cholesterol, LDL high, also triglycerides, and probably having high blood pressure also, 
probably having diabetes also. So sometimes they say one sake can solve the problem. Sorry, my words, uh, my, my, my answer is say no. Yeah. So sake in G oil, this is our first key product from Sacha Way Company or Incha Way Company. So it's really safe. Yeah. And the ingredient we see inside this uh, packet with contents of uh, with contents of omega 343%, omega 640%, okay, and then with omega 9 also and vitamin A and E. So it's really, really safe. Uh, we assure you that we don't have this cholesterol contents or trans fat contents or we say non-GMO and even the plasticizer, the packing is food grade also uh, because when you sip, 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 if the, the, the packing grade is lousy, yeah, with toxic, then you will cause you uh, toxic also. So definitely ours is without pesticizer. Yeah? And then in our quality, quality also doesn't contain any pesticide. And we have this co 10 million ringgit product like Briti Insurance. Yeah? Is it fertilizer free? And then what else? Pesticide free, mentioned already. And then the, a low acid value is below one below one, meaning that it's very, very, it's halal, halal, eh? So with 10 million ringgit insurance. And how many packets you want to take? First, normally I say one sachet a day first. The fourth day onward, two sachet after meal. And then followed by eight days onward, three sachet, or maybe morning breakfast, after morning breakfast, two sachet, and then Another two such in the after dinner, after dinner. So next products I introduce to you is we I say it's rich, uh, rich, rich. Um, in future our name here is called rich because of uh, uh, what we say uh, and not approved using this rich. Uh. So last time can now cannot already. So I don't know why. Yeah, so rich, which contains of, we say, squaling. Eh? And we talk about squaling first. Yeah, squaling first. What is squaling? In fact, if you know about the history, yeah, history of the shark, the shark, shark never have uh, cancer in the history before. You see, the big shark uh, live in the deep, deep sea. I don't know, probably 100 meters, 500 meters, or 1,000 meters. That one is with very, very minimum oxygen. They can live there. They can swim there, no, without any problem. Uh, so, in fact, shark liver contains squalene. But our squalene is from where? From rice brain germ oil. Okay, rice brain joint oil from the earth, okay, not from the sea. So vegetarian can eat. So squaling helps. Eh? You can see the picture here. Supply oxygen activate cells. So squaling hyposia stage of the body cell means the cell itself lack of oxygen. So it can help to improve. And we like supply oxygen or activate ourselves and can timely deliver oxygen to the cells and activate the body functioning cells. Okay, so strengthening and protect the liver. So enhance liver function, promote the bowel secretion, increase appetite and have a good effect on treating hepatitis. So these are the liver function. Yeah, so promote intrahepatic fat metabolism. So the answer is already out. Regular blood lipids reduce the amount of fat in the liver. Thus, it can help treat fatty liver and help people who eat a lot of greasy food to, 
two normal levels of cholesterol in the blood. Wow. You see, this is quelling the ingredients from the rice bran and joint oil. Another one is purify the blood. When we have sticky blood, when our blood is dirty, we say we're full of toxic, full of rubbish inside our bloodstream, we have to purify our blood, promote blood circulation. When your blood is sticky, can your blood circulate well? Can your blood really, I mean, does blood cells having good enough is oxygen levels? Definitely not. Right? So that's why we need to cleanse it. So improve the condition of heart disease, high blood pressure, lower blood pressure, okay, low blood pressure, low blood pressure, not lower, low, lower blood pressure, low blood pressure and high blood pressure and other diseases caused by poor blood circulation. So squelling, it helps a lot. Eh? Okay, um, rich also contains of all that value 72,000. The test, you see, compared to many different kinds of fruits that we eat, like blueberry fruits, antioxidant, all right, test is 6,005. Promagrate, 10,500. Mangosteen, 22,500. It's quite high. Koji berry, 30,000. Acai berry powder is 30,000. Okay, but this aura test on rich is 72,000. So high antioxidant can delay aging. So that's why when you take, you, you will make yourself younger also. Yeah. So, and then promote this uh, balanced immunity. So if you have, we, if we have this called antioxidant, uh, high antioxidant, then easily we can, we say, destroy this free radicals. Yeah, free radicals is the one cause a lot of problems in our body, yeah? So, okay, gamma orizano. A lot of people don't know why is that also, okay? So one of the nutrients needed by our human body. So improve sleep quality, reduce endocrine disorders, increase insulin sensitivity, reduce blood sugar level. So those who have high sugar level or blood uh, diabetes, yeah, patient, it will help. Okay, so regular blood lipids or and bad cholesterol. So another good news for those who have high blood pressure or fat li fatty liver. So improve mental disorder symptom. So these are the main function. So you can see, compare, uh, and then uh, we say, this rich contains of 24,733 uh, uh, milligram per kg. This is called per kg. Uh. Pytosterol content of rich, very, very high. But uh, in fact, Satya Inchi oil also contains phytosteroid, but it's only 1,000, quite low, quite low. Eh? Uh, so rich is very, very high. So another one products we have to call balance. Balance, yeah, balance. Balance is from macadamia oil, and then the Satya Inchi oil mix, yeah, yeah mix. So promote to help on support of heart health. In fact, omega-3 can do that. Support insulin sensitivity. Uh, just now we already mentioned uh, this or gamma orizano can help also. You see? So omega-7, which from balance can support insulin sensitivity, improve satiety, and then improve skin health, reduce inflammation and swelling. Support normal cholesterol level, reduce heart disease risk, and then reduce uh, metabolic syndrome. You see, these small, small words are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to 7, 8, 9 to 13, 14, and then to 18, 22. Uh, these are the reference you can search from the net. Uh, you can search from the internet or you can Google search also. Uh, balance, which contains macadamia oil. And such an NGI, the, the, the strong point is talk about uh, hematolic acid, 
there's omega 7 yeah so this is uh, our our reach and the such an easy oil which we don't have it at all so better if you can consume three types like me i did that also i i anyhow like to consume so one day i took four packets huh? because i have a family history of uh, uh, cholesterol levels uh, but my control is good okay so i finish of this session Thank you for listening. I hope you like this session. I hope you learned something from this session. So if, if you have any question, please uh, 